It's Thursday, August 18th, and Uber has never made it a secret that it wants self-driving cars to pick you up and get you to your destination. And if a future where it doesn't have to pay human drivers could get here sooner than later, well, that would be even better. So how long until you can summon a self-driving Uber? How about in the next two weeks? Uber is planning to roll out a test fleet of self-driving Volvo XC90 SUVs in Pittsburgh literally this week or next, according to Bloomberg. No, the modified XC90s won't ghost ride up to your location. There will still be an actual human in the driver's seat ready to take over if the traffic gets a little too complicated for the autonomous systems to handle. Additionally, Uber has just bought Auto, a maker of self-driving tech that can be adapted to old-fashioned human-guided cars and, yes, trucks, really big trucks, as in semis like this one. The auto deal is a significant move in that it puts Uber in a position to expand its business into a key new area. Uber hopes to do for cargo transport what it did for ride sharing, and with the auto staff full of ex-Google and Apple self-driving car project members, there's a good chance they'll do it. Well, that didn't last long. Just after McDonald's started putting fitness trackers for tykes in their Happy Meals, they've taken them back out. McDonald's intentions seemed to be good. With the Olympics on every night, it seemed like the right time to give kids a fun little device that might get them exercising more or just exercising at all. Instead, the Kansas City Star reports that an Arkansas mother posted on social media that the Step It device in her kid's Happy Meal burned their arm after they wore it for less than 10 minutes. Other parents chimed in that their kids were also burned by the battery-powered device, and Mickey D's quickly pulled them from the Happy Meals. Promotional online videos for the device also suddenly disappeared. Don't feel too bad, Ronald. Adverse reactions to exercise bands is nothing new. Just ask Fitbit and Peak. Uh, hey kid, just rub some french fries on it and it'll be okay. Hey, here's the video of the day. Check out the maiden voyage of the Airlander 10, a mashup of a blimp and an airplane that flew yesterday in England. The Airlander is just a tick over 300 feet long, 92 feet wide, and 85 feet tall, making it the largest aircraft in the world. Yes, it's even larger than that big Russian airplane, the Antonov AN-225. The Airlander is filled with helium, but it's also interestingly shaped to add lift like an airplane once it's underway, extending its range. The Airlander majestically flew for about a half an hour over the English countryside before gently touching back down in a field. Maker Hybrid Air Vehicles claims the unusual aircraft will eventually be able to ferry over 22 tons of cargo, and since it doesn't need a runway, it could be a godsend for quickly delivering relief supplies to areas hit by natural disasters. Hit the link below to watch the whole video. Check out all of the day's tech news at digitaltrends.com, and be sure to check out our YouTube channel and Facebook page. We'll be back again tomorrow.